our anchor scripture for this series. We've been on it for quite some time. We are going. We are going somewhere. I see. I see the word of God at work in our lives, and as a pastor, I am delighted. I am so delighted. I see the word of God transforming and changing all of us. I give Him all praise and glory for what He's doing in our hearts and in our lives. I'm so glad to see Mr. Gumado in church. God is a good God. He is a good, good God. Mr. Philip Gomado, we thank God for your life. Amen. Amen. We've been on the series Believers Meetings on when we gather together and we have learned quite a great deal and we continue this morning. When we became believers, when we became born again, we just saw our parents and people going to church and we just started going to church. And uh, having no understanding of the essence, the importance of church gatherings. And we all went, uh, maybe because we are forced, maybe there's nothing good on television on Sundays or there's no work or our bosses don't need us. And so uh, it, it became like a normal part of us without understanding. And uh, uh, it has been abused. It has not been given the importance that it deserves. The value we need to place on believers' gathering has not been there. It's because we have not been taught. And I'm taking my time to really expound and to explain to us so that we can get the best of our gatherings. Hallelujah. And have you realized that since this series, and the enlightenment or the revelation, the understanding you are receiving, these meetings are making more sense to you. How many of you are, 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 and it is ministry even to you more. And the, the ministries are, be, are impacting you the more. Hallelujah. And so we are going a bit deeper. Last week we looked at the prior meetings of the church. We saw that they, they met quite frequently, but we, 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 we saw that uh, prior meetings were very integral. Uh, uh, in their church lives. We are going to look at some other meetings that they have and I'm going to take my time this morning to explain to us the many other meetings that we also have as a church and why we have them from the Bible. Amen. Amen. Good. Do not forsake the assembling of ourselves together. Now makes sense to you, right? Do not forsake it. Do not forsake it. It must be a priority. Now, over here in Acts chapter 2 verse 42, we see that and they continue steadfastly in the apostles doctrine, fellowship, and in breaking of bread, and even in prayer. We see over here, beloved, that there are a number of activities that they, they, they did when they meet together. Now, when they met, we see over here that there's emphasis on teaching. There's, 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 there's teaching there's fellowship, there's breaking of bread, there's prayer, and these are four. But there's even more. When you look at the verse 47, in the verse 47, you see also praising God. In the verse 40, praising God. You see, so when they met together, they break bread, they did all these things. They had meetings where they did all these things together. But they also had meetings where emphasis were placed on these individual things. Like meetings where the emphasis is prayer, meeting where the emphasis is fellowship, meeting where meetings where the emphasis is the word of God, and meetings where the emphasis is is is, is fellowship, and meetings where the emphasis is just praising God, hallelujah, with all the people, and the Lord added unto them daily. So we see that their meetings were diverged. We are coming to explain and understand why the meetings were diverse, uh, but you never see business meeting. We never see business meeting, but there were business people among them. Amen. Amen. You know, Mo Moses attended Harvard Business School in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> but they were not in terms of the church, and the hospitals, and the business schools, and the academic institutions, economic lives. No beard in the politicians who beard in Lemu. You don't see it mixed. Amen. Uh, when one, one person was trying to go and mix it, they cut his head. Amen. 
Uh, today, you don't cut their head. So they will say that, oh, mafia and all of those things and run yourself into a lot of troubles and all of that. May the Lord help us. Amen. Amen. Now, when we gather together, we have learned in this series that when we gather together, everybody is a functionary, including God. Everybody is a functionary with God. And so in, in Ephesians chapter 4, verse uh, 16, we see that um, every joint supplies something. That the, the whole body, when we gather together, uh, every joint always supplies something. Uh, from whom the whole body joined and knitted together, by which every joint supplies. Every joint supplies something. You see in First John chapter 1, verse 7, that when we gather together, our fellowship is unto ourselves and unto God. Hallelujah. So we gather to God, but we gather unto ourselves as well. By walking in light, he is in light. We have fellowship with one another and our spirit and then with the Lord Jesus and he cleanses us. We also see in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 23 that when we gather, it is not just unto God and to angels, but also unto the spirit of just men made perfect. So, uh, when we gather like this, all of us are contributing something into the meeting. The church is likened to the body, the human body for a reason, critical reason that in, in everything that you do, every part of your body plays a part. Hallelujah. And that is how it is. Now, you will see that our meetings cannot always be one way. And I'm coming to explain. When we gather together, all of us have different giftings. And we are going to go through the giftings. If you are here and don't come to church on, Sunday, on Fridays, maybe it is only you. We are learning a great deal on Fridays. Just a little about some of the things we learn on Fridays. In the next 10 minutes, and I'll get into the, the, the meat. Now, we are all endowed with different spiritual giftings. So, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7 to 10. But the manifestation of the gift is given to each one for the profit of all. Watch here. For the profit of all. For to one is given word of wisdom through the spirit. To another word of knowledge through the same spirit. To another faith. Please take note of the gift. Word of knowledge, word of wisdom, faith. And to another healing by the same spirit. And to another working of miracles. To another prophecy. To another design of spirit. To another... Uh, different kinds of tongues to another interpretation of tongues. Nine giftings, the most popular ones listed here. All of us, it is not possible that God will call a local assembly, gather a people together like this, in a local assembly where there are more than 50 people, there are more than 100 people, and all of these giftings are not there. It is not possible. God intentionally gathers us together, and all these things, all these giftings, are present always. Now, there's another list in from the verse 27 to the verse to the verse tw from tw 27 and 28. Now, you are the body of Christ and members individually. And God has appointed this in the church. He appointed them in the church. First apostle, second prophet, third teachers, after the miracles, then gift of healings. It continues to say helps. And you see administration, varieties of tongues. So, there are diverse giftings, and they are all available. Church, there's another list in Romans chapter 12, from the verse number 6 to 8. Having then gifts different according to the grace that has been given to us, let, let us use them. We are commanded to use them. Follow me. If prophecy, let us prophesy. In proportion to our faith or ministry, here it other translates say service or serving. Let us use it in our ministering. He, he who teaches in teaching, you see teaching also over here, and he who exalts in exhortation, you see exhortation, teaching, serving, prophecy, and we continue to say he who gives liberally, let him give. And he who leads, all these things are giftings that every local church, I believe, is endowed in. Continues to say, he who shows mercy 
with cheerfulness. Hallelujah. Now, when we gather together, all these giftings are present. Now, another one from seven, from four to seven here, he says that there are diversities of gifts. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4 to 7. There are diversities, like we have said, but same spirit. These are different, there are different of ministries, but the same Lord, verse 6. And there are diversities of activities. There are diversities, diversities of activities. Goes on to say, but the same God who works in all. Seven said that, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one. So each one has it, and for the purpose that each one's giftings will profit all. How can we achieve that? Now, for us to be immensely blessed and to receive of the ministries of different people in the church, to receive of the graces upon different people in the church, to receive of the special, diverse, spiritual giftings on people in the church, we have different kinds of services where the emphasis are always different but to achieve the same thing. So different giftings, same gold for the profit of all. And so we must have in every local church different kinds of meeting where everybody that has some gift can find a way to express and to serve the Lord with them. Hallelujah. Otherwise, there will be people in church who will not first know the giftings that they have. And there will be people who may know the giftings that they have, but will never have the opportunity to use them to serve the Lord because our meetings are always one way. So we create, we create meetings not just because we are a kakran to embe kakran. I say we are short to embe kakran, but it is deliberate so that different people can have the center stage, can be the emphasis, so that what is on them, they can use it extensively to serve all of us. Hallelujah. So let me explain. So you see the gift is there are helps, administration, mercy, leadership, and, and all of that. And we have seen that in the church. You know, when we read um, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 26, <coughs> you see over there that when they gathered, you see different, different things also over there. Paul was writing and correcting them on how to do them. But you see over here that, how is it then, brethren? Whenever you gather together, each one has a psalm. So it means that when they gather, the, the, the psalm is singing. The people were singing. There are people that are gifted with singing. Each one has a, a, a teaching. Uh, each one has a tongue, uh, a revelation, uh, has an interpretation. He said that let the, all things be done on justification. So he said that all these things were, were, were finding expression in their meetings. Hallelujah. And they had meetings where, in which these different things listed here were emphasized. Hallelujah. Now, in this local church where the Lord has planted you, I want to explain to you some of the meetings we have and the reasons we have them. Now, beloved, before I get into the meetings, the meetings that God has set for us are as important as the Lord who commanded us to meet and as also important as the people that lead us. You cannot love the Lord who commanded us to meet more than the meetings that he has commanded us to do. Your love for him is expressed in your love towards the meetings. Your love for him is expressed in you obeying him. Hallelujah. So in this church, I'm going to list 14 different meetings that we have. You have to write all of them down and get the mind and the reason behind it. Hallelujah. First is this meeting. The first, and the first day of the week, we gather together in the area home church. And this meeting is a celebration meeting. In this meeting, it's a cocktail of meetings. It's a cocktail. Uh, if I say cocktail or medley, it's a meeting where you see our program start with prayer. Prayer kakra. Bible reading kakra. Now follow. Prayer kakra. Bible reading kakra. MC kakra. MC no beye exhortation. 
There's a reason Mr. Boateng is the MC. I like the, the reminder he brings to us always that it is not your macho. It's not your height. It's not your money. When somebody has money than you and he says it's not your money. When people don't have money, they say it's not your money. You think that they are attacking you or they are trying to... You understand? You understand? So he comes to give exhortation and, and facilitate fellowship. There's a reason. So, and then you see that then the choir will come and sing kakra. Now him for the sing kakra. For the praise and the worship and the song ministration and all of that. Not song ministration, kakra. Not preaching, kakra. Preaching, ebi wo hon ma eye preaching. Ebi wo hon ma eye teaching. Kakra, ye wea, na ya ye den, ye ya ya kase fellow to kon yan chen, na church ya ne kakra. What you are saying, you will be should be an announcement. You have an addiction. There's a reason for so this is a cocktail where we attempt to almost give us to set the tone for the week to, to celebrate what God has done in the week to, to receive of all of us almost equally. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I know your Sundays for now we do two services. First and second service. It is important. The Lord commanded us to do it. Now, there's another one called teaching service. That is on Tuesdays. This year we suspended it, but it is coming back next year. Now, the teaching services is on Tuesdays. Write them down. On Tuesdays, when we come, the service is different. It is to, for the, like we call teaching service. The emphasis of the, of the service is teaching. It is in the teaching service where we take our time. Sometimes we take questions. Usually before I start teaching services, if Umba be there, you don't know. I, I take questions and people ask me questions. Amen. It's during teaching services that I open this box and when I see questions there, I answer them during teaching service. So if you put a question in on Sunday, you may not get the answer if you don't come on Tuesdays. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? Good. It, in the teaching service, there are people that have so me, me were gift of teaching. I'm a, I'm a pastor. Am I a pastor or a teacher? Eh? Am I a pastor or a teacher? Both. 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 So, teaching service, I think I'm time to teach you this. To teach you. The emphasis is teaching. So, when it comes to teaching service, prayer and a good way be. Song no kutwebi. And baby a kutwebi ye ma preach teaching no long time. So teaching service many times I teach more than one hour. Tuesdays ye ba a teaching. Announcement ni sa no mano mano. Eh eh eh. Ye nye sa announcement ni sa announcement ni teaching service fellowship kohachi un ya bamun ya ye nye sa dia no. E ye teaching service. Because now listen, it is because we have to be taught. It is in the teaching that we take our time to answer questions and to get into the Bible. Even what you taught on Sunday, we try to emphasize it again and all of that. And it is for somebody or a few people that have the grace for teaching in the temple and for teaching a big number of people. There's a reason I'm saying that. For teaching a certain big number of people. Because the grace, maybe the grace is more they can stand here and teach a large number of people. Teaching services are for such people. Not only me, but teaching services. If there's somebody who has a gift of teaching, who is growing, we use a teaching service for them, for us to receive of the grace, that gift of teaching. To him we teach, let him teach diligently. When will he teach? If there's no service, if there's no space for the gift in him. So Tuesdays are for teaching. And Tuesdays, it's as important as Sundays. Hallelujah. Because the Lord who commanded to meet on Sundays, there is the Lord who commanded to meet on Tuesdays. And it is to emphasize teaching. And you cannot say that you like and teaching Sundays, teaching service, yes, yeah, sunlight, light, no, sunlight, no, keyboard, no, like BB, yeah, 
it is for a reason so that we can understand everything about ourselves and all of that. Sunday is not teaching service necessarily. Sunday is usually preaching. Oh, Sunday temple no so kakra. Sunday to me say, but teaching service no. And time say, it is for the teachers amongst us and to teach us. It's a meeting. It is as important as Sunday. And we also have home fellowship meetings, which is our house meeting. That one happened on Wednesday. So it's a Sunday. Usually Mondays we rest. There are other meetings. I will tell you. Huh? There are other meetings that happen on Mondays that you don't know. Sometimes there are leaders meetings. Mondays, almost every other Monday, I have a meeting I have with, with a certain group of people in this church. Now, we have home fellowship meetings, no matter where. That happens on Wednesday. The home fellowship meetings is to encourage and foster home fellowship. This is a home fellowship, you know, your choir. And yet, there are people that have the grace to, to teach, but they cannot stand here and teach. But they have an opportunity to, to explain the word of God to a smaller group of people. It is a place where everybody feels belong. It is created for fellowship. It is created for us to, you know, nurture the bond of unity amongst us. Over there, the emphasis is no is not keyboard. It's not that we come by keyboard. Hallelujah. Now the home fellowship meeting, you know, and yet, and yet, the emphasis is not like your continuum praise and worship. Now they until kwa yenga say we better continuum kakra. Now we are kakra. Now MC will come and do no 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 no. The emphasis is for us to discuss the word of God. The emphasis is for everybody to receive from each other, for us to break down even what we learned on Tuesday, what we learned on Sunday. That if somebody did not understand, maybe for a genuine reason, somebody missed any of these two meetings in that home fellowship or home cell meetings, you can ask a question and somebody can explain to you. Hallelujah. It is designed. There's a, there's a reason. Some more church. Now a home fellowship. Hallelujah. You better come a branch, but you still maintain that. You better church chimu. Into maximum 12 people, maximum 13 people, just a few people, so that we can nurture fellowship and we can nurture the Adumbi Obimua home fellowship. And there are some people, maybe they cannot have time to come and do Ashwin here. You can be a place where you can be a place Home fellowship also gives us an opportunity for different kinds of people to serve the Lord outside of the temple. To serve the saints outside the temple. So it is not because we don't have anything to do on Wednesdays, but it is deliberately it's a deliberate instruction to foster fellowship among us over there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that he who exhorts to home fellowship, you know, a man from war, Exhortation, a whole year bill. So, all my contribution now to me was a whole year bill. A high year in your heart. Meeting with me was a exhortation, utimi, and a counseling. So, giftings, no home fellowship meetings, small group meetings in Wayem. Hallelujah. So that they profit or they must be given. Hallelujah. That's why uh, pastor, pastor doesn't have to come there to come and hijack the meeting. Mwanka Samun Fellowship, Nyami Woho, Holy Ghost, Nwoho. Wednesdays. Then Fridays, we have prayer meetings. Then Yeba, Ayem Paibo, Yebe Dim, Paya Number 4, write it down. Fridays, prayer meetings. Fridays, prayer meeting. When we come, the emphasis of the service is prayer. Yeba, Yebo, Mpaya. Enyum tu o nim, and enyum tu o ma, kiti, 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 kiti bi. Amen. Amen. So that we can pray. So that people can lead us to pray. And we spoke extensively about that. We do that on Friday. Now let me be quick to add some. So on, on the same Fridays, on the last Friday, we have what we call here return. Now, you see Pastor Yvonne and the choir. There are people that are gifted. 
if son, on, on Fridays, when we come here and say we are praying, it's not because I have short sermons. It's not because I don't have what to teach. But prayer is also important. There are people that can lead prayer and they can facilitate and inspire us to pray. We give the mic to them. Then they will come and help us to pray. Hallelujah. It's not because, no, 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 no. It's not because we have short sermon. Or Friday, Fridays, Yvonne cannot sing. But there's a reason that we come here to pray. And it is also as important as the Sunday one. Amen. So last Friday, one, Thanksgiving is also prayer. Thanksgiving is a form of prayer. In the typical New Testament church where we know and believe that all things have been given to us already, we thank God before we even have or receive them, although we have them. So, Pastor Yvonne, we must have a dumb In this Tuesday, they be a metinahana metrade. Metinahana metrade. And they are dumb now, we must have a dumb now. Also, bear then they are so many. You bear then I a blessing to us. So we need to create a service where those that are gifted, where money now give like Ima, you may keyboard. No, I, I when I look at you, you can never play keyboard. There are some if you see their fingers, you realize that the sit and sanity and no say gift no or cry own to me more. And say they be a not here. Say they be a semetra there, because me na meye general overseer. Ena me wo sermons. And they be a teaching, teaching, teaching. This man will sit here and write notes till he die. And the gifting he has, only no opportunity to serve him. So I have given them last Friday of the month. The muso ne na me de dream muno yeba. We have come to you. Now you have come to me and I'm ministering to you Friday. So the way I prepare and I come, you also have to prepare and come. Some people, their voice, they can't sing regular contemporary song. They know him. They can't but a yo be swatum. Ah, ni panusu e was on sum nyame. Na yen su the saint ni ye here. Na me man a gift no for the profit of us because there's a need for it. You think you don't need hymns. You think you need the word, but you don't need singing. Because we sing unto God. You see, God we serve or say, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your whatever. Yet the, so you see. God has set himself outside of our emotions. However, as emotional beings with feelings, we have to serve, if we have to serve the Lord with our soul, our mind, and everything, then the, our emotions are there. Sometimes it is during the singing that we are able to express ourselves with our souls unto him. Now you are free now once and here. Say, thank giving a tire. Now what is you see? What is drinks not so to you won't voice not dinner? Then there's a way it helps you to come out of yourself from your spirit through your emotions, and then you feel something. The feeling is not a watch, but at least your minimum your personal can be sometimes it's just tears. So we give that return. No see the bear. You can come and also serve God. And so they rehearse. With you and God in mind, when we gather here last Friday, you don't show up. Not because you are ungrateful to God, but you don't care about their ministry. When you don't come, you are saying that those who have that gift, you are selective. And you are a hypocrite. It is no good. You see, one of the biggest ways we demonstrate the division in us is the way we select meetings. One of the real biggest ways churches demonstrate the divisions in them, the disunity, the schisms among us, is demonstrating how we pick and choose meetings. You think you know how to sing than Yvonne, so you sing in your room. I do not know, man. You see, you are, it's not. It's not like you don't have time, oh. 
but you despise the gift on the choir. You despise you are just you won't come. But when me am preaching, you come. But me kwa me na mete ye. You like me and my teacher, but I don't like my choir. You can't choose and select. That's why when they employed you in the work, they say Monday to Friday. Say, say sir, he says Wednesdays I have something I cannot come. No, then you cannot work here. If you're a member of the church, every meeting is important. And there's a way. How will you want serve God if there's no choir in the church? How will David and Amos and, and McCarthy and all these people who play trumpet look at Cyril and all these people if there's no choir? How would they serve God? As I said, don't say that I said they have gone to force themselves to learn the thing and I pray you to force yourself and learn and let's see. It's a gift. Can you force and learn? If I say I'll pay to take you to music school, can you go? And you are doomed. I'm telling you. So we create a service for them. Then, they re then we receive of them. So don't make their rehearsal and the pain they go through to arrange the songs go in vain. And when you come and they are singing, in one accord, you partake. Say, so you uh, like this song. Don't like this song. You think we are singing to them. The one that says you want to change, 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 change. One more to watch it. <laughs> you think it's easy to sing here to sing wrong. But you are not to sing here. So Fridays, Thanksgiving is also prayer. So we slot in there. The last Friday is a Bosom Nakoya. So we just come and, and we, just, we, just, we just love on God. We give people, we come. There's a reason. And it is, it is this service it's not more important than that service. If you, if you value this one more than that one, you value me, you value teaching more than singing. The Bible says the same spirit. Now, in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, chapter verse 1, verse 1 to verse 12, talking about the giftings of the spirit. From verse 12 to the down there, 30 something, then he's talking about the body that operates the gift. So the giftings has been given to the body for different parts of the body to operate different things. There's a reason why water comes from your eyes. You have ear. Uh, when, you, when you are sad, the water doesn't come from your, your ears. All of them are important. So, Oka giftings new year, no. Verse 12. Said the ancestor to Nam Kaima, you know. And Oka body now a more pretty gift. No? So he was connecting the gift into the body that just as every part of the body is important. Every part, every every gift is important. And so if we love the gift, we must love the people that will put the gift. And you must appreciate and honor the services that exalt and emphasize their gift. And you cannot be selective. And there's something that we, we call Liberty R. Uh, it's not gone now. So the first Friday, we do something that is called Liberty R. Uh, liberty R uh, is not gone. So the purpose of that service is to for, is for the supernatural. It's a Holy Ghost service. It's a service where we pray. But in that prayer, we give room for the manifestation of the gift. So you betray teaching Tuesday near who say our gift is now. And was in your service, we are demonstrating. Hallelujah. And so for some time now, I noticed that we are lagging behind in spiritual things and the Holy Ghost and the gifts of the Spirit. And so, for some time now, probably to the end of the year, I have put some emphasis on the things of the Spirit and teaching about the gifts of the Spirit and all of that. However, typically, the first Friday is, is extensive prayer where we come and then we receive healing. We receive It's a miracle service. It's a service, Yensu Ye Deliverance service, no, no. Where we come and we pray more. We, we stare the giftings and at the first one, now you have ministration. Now you have a prayer more, more, say, oh man, now prophecy. Friday sometimes you prophesy here, you don't know. So it is our own prophetic service. It's our own miracle service. It's our own healing service. Healing. So first Friday, it's still prayer. So all Fridays are prayer. But the first one is to emphasize the things of the spirit, miracles, signs, wonders, gift of the spirit, supernatural healing, and all of that. 
I used to pray a cocktail, Holy Ghost cocktail, be sanum. Two now one few few Fridays, they know they buy. You share your own so. Recolo, lo, 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 your bumper. Need now who here? If you find you know, it's not less important than the return. You like return. Maybe you like entertainment. When we don't see you, we don't see you, Liberty R. The other two, we don't see by return that you come and come. Is it club you want to go? Is it because the, the light and things that, when, because the atmosphere we create that you come or you come because of God and the Holy Ghost and the gift? <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, there is, and there are people too that, you know, in the Sunday bar, there's a prayer singing, you know, singing, you know, oh, 15 minutes, by a bar return, near beam. And the two hours more, 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 and we have morning devotion, number seven. Morning devotion every Sunday, every, every, every day. Now we read online. Maybe in the future it shall be physical meetings. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. I like the way you are shouting amen. amen. You think we will, say we, will, we will sleep online forever? <laughs> but let's start there. So, and the emphasis is prayer. You are born by 25 minutes. Now you are share word. And your teaching service. And your miracle service. And you tell you, you have to turn your baby. You can say, no, no, and also on weekends, no, you have to turn your kakra. But Monday to Friday, you didn't buy 25 minutes. Now you share a word, could we be? Sometimes I wear them, but it be more, more, more the word, and they come with him now. It's okay. Morning devotion is prayer. But where the bar, eh, yeah, but make sure it's your turn. Share some more word at the end there, five minutes or three minutes. Amen. We do it every day. It's important. Listen, let me tell you. This meeting, this service is no more important than the clubhouse morning devotion. Hallelujah. It's important. And we have other meetings where fellowship meetings. And we have the Easter Monday, number eight. I'll come and inspect your notes. So I hope you are well, have you written eight. So, fellowship. And no, no. Ye ye be wo ho ye enti ye ye shi mu wo hanu ma enye no no eno no ese bamobi 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 no two minutes no there be you see if you are paying attention all the things you do on Sunday are bits and pieces or introductions of or bits and pieces of many other meetings that we have with emphasis so Easter Monday enu ya fellowship ya hano ya ya nkofomu wo gift of organization ashes no. That is the day we see them, but they don't even come. Gift of organizing and mobilizing and the gift of cleaning and the gift of anybody. It is for fellowship. There's a reason. So, in the future, when we are having our anniversary week, there should be some, some fellowship and some games and some this thing there. We just haven't started yet, but in my spirit, it is there. Maybe from fifth anniversary, Anniversary week, you know, you be your games. I will she branch and uh, pick farm branch games. You are not saying amen, you are not happy. Ma. You are <laughs> hallelujah. Oh, whoa, well, auntie. At the home fellowship level, we have fellowship, we have breaking of bread, and we have those meetings. On, on, on Easter Monday, so that we break bread together. I feel called to you as a family, so our fellowship uh, Easter, uh, your friend is saying, uh, September, we break bread together, and then we have fellowship together. Those meetings, I'm not on program. Even you cannot go and sing, we have the Easter convention, then there is no for you. Your own is returned. That, that one is for the ashes, and even one more, more gift of help, administration, leadership, and in those meetings, no, unso bu on ma, omo mata mata home, into home fellowship, no, no wa hosti bi. Now with me, so I serving, I mean, 
Abia, you cannot organize and fix the church because I have some. But you can be like an usher at the home fellowship level where you take care of things. And when we have such gatherings, if you have the gift of administration and things, you have to bring it to bear so that we all enjoy. The whole year we all serve you. But you are a good organizer. You are a good planner. You are a good mobilizer. How will you serve God among the saints? You are the reason why we have Easter games and we have fellowship. And when we say we are breaking bread, some of you, you have worked with uh, uh, events, then, then companies now. They are they, you, you know that you are a planner. You cannot come and plan my sermons. You cannot come and plan. You cannot come and plan the sound. You cannot come and plan, arrange the songs and things. But you are a planner. How will you do? Oh, this is year because the Easter game, sir. Uh huh. They won't want no adjacent. What draw program? No, no more ballot. They be a tournament and I say be a league. Do they live in the league and tournament? They cast your purchase. They cast your pay. Your pay. Your pay monopoly. You just know how to make things happen. And when people are coming to marry, you have that gift. We are family. You have to use the gift to let people's wedding and engagement and things, traditional marriages, become nice. Amen. Don't sit on it. It is giving for the profit of all. Amen. It is not only prophecy and teaching and pastoring and interpretation of tongues that is a gift of the spirit. So we have to create this thing. It's not like Easter Monday. Like, uh, like you, you think it's holiday. I don't, I, uh, me, I, I don't want to sleep and spend time with my family. No. But we know that there are people that that day they can also serve the Lord. When we say break bread at the home fellowship level, we are not attacking your kitchen or pocket or your food. There are people, generosity. You can say, yeah, yeah, game. Say, boom, say, you can cook food. I'm not sure if you not But every Easter, we have a corner at Engelberg School. Every year, we go and sit there. Maybe the whole year, that's the only time I eat with him. I'm telling you, Jesus was eating with his disciples. I'm going to say, we have to be doing more. Eh? I'm going to Easter. So what? I know what you call lunch. I'm telling you, it's the be a minute to do face to face. Now, me tia no what, me tia no what. It's one, it's it, it, it. And 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 you say that he wants. Like I said, I want rice. I want a bank. We sit at a certain corner there. Here we cannot eat. Here I am feeding him. He's receiving. Oh, I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat. Hallelujah. So every meeting is important. If you despise the meeting, you despise the Lord who wants us to fellowship. And you despise the man who said that we should come and meet. It's not that you are busy. And Easter games is not less important than this one. Because the believers that partake almost some are no no no. You know, you yes, see, if one if one gift so if you say no way, hey, I'm, 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 Oh, hey, you to know, you to know. You have to bring all the children and everybody. You are looking at my hands. <laughs> By the time you finish this series, everybody go reach everybody. <laughs> you think that you think that it that we don't know what to do. It's it is deliberate. And listen, this service and what I'm doing is no more important than that meeting. That's why if you come for the don't come for the one I see, I'll watch you some way. I don't know you have a problem. But I haven't told you. But thank God for this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And we also have ministry meetings. We have ministries that meet. Different, different, different meet, different, different, different groups. This one happens usually on Saturdays. Saturdays, qua, ashes. And it's for training and edification and rehearsals and the preparation for services. It happens usually on Saturdays. Where ministries meet, sometimes it's for training. Sometimes it is for demonstration. Sometimes for practical. Sometimes for rehearsals. 
and these are also meetings. Listen, the singing they do here is no more important than that. Listen, every meeting is important. So ministry meeting. So when the call don't say that ah. Sunday in the Saturday a baby sees here. Now they need a gathering. And foster us more opportunities to fellowship. And there are church workers meetings. And that are also called sometimes on Saturdays. Usually on Saturdays. And there are leaders meetings. There are church council meetings. Church management meetings. Leaders host like sometimes many, mainly on Saturdays but sometimes Sunday evenings. Sometimes Monday evenings. I meet leaders. I meet church council. I meet the host. I meet ministry leaders and uh, all of that. No, 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 eleven leaders meetings. No, my ten is church workers meeting. No, my nine is ministry meetings. If you don't get, didn't get them, nine ministry meetings. And no, yeah, ministries. No joyful noise for two weeks ago. Omo baha ebe ye ebe ye ebe ebe see see ho. You are sitting here now. Friday there was an all night here. You don't know about it. Some people had all night here. They left here around one. After the prayer meeting, there was a meeting here. The prayer meeting closed at eight. From 8 to 1, there are some people here doing a meeting. And that meeting is important. They are meeting because of you and because of me. Maybe you were noom. They were here. They were here. There was an all night. You know, you're all night back. We're not by. But Friday, I'm not for all night. Who do you want to be? Amen. So, number 11, leaders' meetings. And anyway, leaders' meetings, you were church council, you were host, you were ministry leaders. That's what usually happens on Saturdays. And there are camp meetings. Every Easter, number 12, you go for camp. Camp meetings. And it's for the whole church. Say it's for the whole church. So you don't like camp. You don't like, you like comfort. You don't like, you don't like. And camp is not for comfort. And we don't go there to go and enjoy. It's not fanfare. We, we, that's why when we Easter, we do Monday, we have bad games. By honey, a quiet near the day, we can declare fasting. And we don't go to look for the best pillow and things. It's a camp. We have camp meetings. And now, listen, there are three camp meetings you have in this church every year. We have started with only the Easter. There are two other camps in my spirit. We are not ready for it yet. For now, camp is only Easter. But there are two other camps we have in the course of the year. Easter is one. And they come, their names are in my head already. But step by step. Mm? Good. Okay? No, ma, no, ma, no, yeah, the new, the, thank you very much. The, 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 the Easter camp meeting is called what? New Creation Camp Meeting. Send your friend every year. So don't, don't, I have told you that next year, March or April, we are going. The announcement has started. And this, this, these meetings, we don't remind people about them. And a standing order. We have it. Amen. And we also have, I mean, uh, special group meetings. Oh, my, it's me, Fred, see, Jafono. Oh, my, it's me, Fred, Kapos, no. Oh, my, it's me, Fred, men. Oh, my, it's me, Fred, women, no. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're from by the spirit. Usually, I know so I tired Saturdays. But, oh, my, as I am led, and I say, group be muhia, muhia, ya mubeti, and I say, Pastor, ushia, a ye, a man manache, shia, a meshiamo. Amen. So those meetings are also usually on Saturdays. Amen. And then number 14, we have conferences. Conferences. Every other month, you try to put something together to, to, to exhort, you put an emphasis on a particular subject in the Bible, then we teach it for a week, we teach it for three or four days. Teaching conferences, number 14. Now, beloved, all these meetings are equally important. All these meetings are very important. And they are designed to equip us. Beloved, they are designed to make us whole. No meeting is less important than the other. If one, listen, every meeting depends on the other. Now, everybody listen to me very carefully. And come to say a number of things. Come to say a number of things. Watch me. When it comes to church and our gatherings, one of the reasons why many of us are not grown is because we select meetings. The Bible said that, that the man of God, 1 Corinthians, uh, sorry, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 17, that the man of God will be thoroughly equipped. For you to be thoroughly equipped for every good work, you need every service. Listen, your body part 
Everybody part need everybody part. Everybody, every part need the other. Beloved, let me use these things to uh, 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 illustrate this thing to you. When it comes to food, you know, there are, there are different classes of food groups. Well, there are fiber, there are proteins. You know, there are some people, they talk about vegetables and proteins like vegetables and uh, foods like that are the most important thing in this world. You cannot live and survive on food and vegetables. Listen, carbohydrates are important. Vitamins are important. Vitamin A, C, B. You see, listen, listen. We are the, we are the architect of our own spiritual problems. Due to lack of understanding and laziness. And we cannot blame God or witches and wizards for where we are and what we have enjoyed from. We should rather even be thankful to God that we have what we have because we have been without understanding and have neglected very, very, a lot of important things. If you're a church member who come to church only on Sundays, you, you see Sunday meetings, no? And your church, the meetings that make, that make us grow and your Sunday meetings, that's why you can come to Sunday meetings for 10 years and you still have problem with fornication. I'm telling you, you are like somebody who eats only vegetables. And he doesn't eat only vegetables. You know what I'm saying? When you, you sit down there, when you grow, in, when you want to marry, when you want to give birth, they will tell you have low spend count. Low spend count because you are not eating one. You understand? Every food group and every vitamin, every mineral, or protein, kakra, we can free be balanced diet. If you are part of a church and you are missing one meeting and you don't go for home fellowship, you don't come for prayer meetings, and you see, what that, uh, you can have, a, you think you have a justifiable reason because your word that keeps you out. Thank you, but you are more nourished. Accept it. You have a problem. You have to pray and think about it and see how you can deal with it. Because you see, sometimes God's answer to you is on Friday. Friday, I released a word of knowledge and a word of wisdom in the service. Maybe it's for you. I said that somebody, maybe, you see, Sunday, Friday, God spoke to me. He said that those of you who don't pick strange calls on your phone, be very careful. Because maybe a miracle is coming your way this week and you miss it because you will see a strange number. You don't owe anybody, but you don't pick it. I said it on Friday, you are not here. What if it was for you? And I'll never repeat it here. Because I'm picking it because I'm preaching. What if it's for you and you chose not to come because you thought it's work and tiredness and distance and money? And you see, God ministers to us continually. You know, we are starting series, sir. Listen, your, you don't know when and where your answer will come from and even from who and in which service. So if you are serious about church and God and the things of the spirit and this church, you don't miss meetings. When you miss meetings, you must feel bad. Because you don't know when. What if all that God had for you, a word that I we, that was supposed to, that's a word that somebody said, at your home fellowship meeting was what you needed. And the Afrin God determined that we will start a home fellowship this year. And in August, there will be an outline. And God has determined that when you go in the discussion, Madame Faustina will say something. And something will hit you. And your life will be changed. You don't believe the grace on her. And you don't believe the grace on Tattoo. So the home fellowship, you don't go. Or we don't wh- why or we don't believe in the thing. Because you see, you don't know why. Do you know the testimonies I have received from home fellowship? That the meeting that you don't come. Do you know the test? Do you know people's testimonies? Or because we don't share them here, you want to hear testimony before you go for home fellowship. You may be sitting here forever. How do you det- is it God who told you that if you your breakthrough will come on a Sunday through me? Is it God who told you that Sunday is when you get the word? They must as well close and shut all meetings and meet on Sundays. And Sunday we meet long enough to cover for all the meetings. Sunday when we come, we stay here till two. Then we do everything. We do home. We do everything here. Then pastor will be the one in charge. You think I'm, I'm not omnipresent. I'm omnipresent. I'm omnipresent. I'm omnipresent. 
Hallelujah. Listen, just maybe, just maybe, you have missed your miracle in one of our Friday prayer meetings. And the next one is in March. The third prayer meeting in this church in the month. The third Friday in March. And God had determined that a word, you come and pray about the matter here and the matter will be solved. Every meeting is important. So, carbohydrate, are carbohydrates more important than vitamins? True. Eh? True. Our, our home fellowship, so, it's not important. Who told you? You just know, eh? You just know. Or proteins are more important than uh, amino acids. Where is the protein? Oh, now we see. Oh, now we see. person don't pay me a day. And the calcium. And a meal. Nane. Bones. And a wawe in kasaisa. And a wise now we need protein. Oh, we immune system. Hey, you're in tuntun a bekun. You be like this. You get malaria and you shake and you die. Because your immune system is, is, is weak. Listen. just So we too, we are a body. Never forget. We are a family. We are one body. Every meeting. Maybe Sunday this, this is carbohydrate. But we serve God serve his own proteins on Fridays. And he said the protein. He said the vitamins. Two uh, veggie protein. Waha. Now you're pulling you may home fellowship meeting. What could Jimmy not have? I will if you know we TV and what dials what bridges say on TS here. You need grow up, grow up and go. You sit down and see. Oh, but bomb by sir. You'll be here. This stage you'll be you'll be asking at 35, and you, your life will not be changed. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Because you are cheating yourself by not going for all meetings. Every meeting is important. Just like the body. Just like the eye needs the nose and the nose needs... You know, when, when, when we say that on wife, when you, when you wear something nice and we say that on wife, they give their glory to the whole body. Maybe you didn't use the other one. You are smelling, but you haven't raised your hand. So we, but we say you are looking nice. <laughs> Maybe you didn't use the tea roll well. So some part of your body is, is not smelling nice. But but we say, oh, why for you are looking good? Because of lipo lipo. Huh? The glory has touched the anus and every part of your body. Because of your face. When you say you say your shoe is nice. Your they say your 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 leg shoe is nice. You want to say your it means that every part of your body is glorified. Everybody is important. Everybody, everybody is important. The, everybody's gift is important. Everybody's gift is important. Then the meetings in which they demonstrate and manifest the gift are also important. And if they are important, then the Lord who gave them is important to us. So don't go because of us. You go because of him who gave the gift, who gave the believer, and who said the meetings. It's just like every verse of scripture. There's no verse of scripture in the Bible that has, that you see, God determined that we serve him in community. There's no verse of scripture that has meaning in life on its own. I've taught this thing here several times. People have tried to explain verses from the same verse and they have goofed. Every verse of scripture draws life and meaning from the surrounding verses. That's why if you take it out of context, it can kill you. It can land you in error. And you can be a you can you can be a heretic teacher because God says occupy till I come. And he says, You oh fire now there. Just say oh. you know how people take a verse, one verse, and then they all trima. Listen, no verse of scripture has life and meaning on its own. They draw meaning and life from the surrounding verse, sometimes from the whole book. It's in the same way that no meeting has life on its own. Every meeting, you see, it is because of this meeting that they met yesterday to do rehearsals. I have a meeting with certain people after service. 
That meeting is as important as this one because this meeting depends on that. Every meeting depends on the other. There are people who don't go for meetings. They become problems in churches. They miss services. They don't understand anything. Very soon, they will leave the church. If they don't leave, we will let them leave. Because they don't understand anything that's coming. Why? The problem started by when they started missing meetings. Every meeting, is, every meeting is important. From prayer to whatever. If you don't come, the Bible says, when one meeting suffers, if that rehearsal was not successful, this one will not be successful. If we didn't pray well on Friday, this one will be affected. Every meeting is connected. Just like your eye, ear, nose, and throat. They are connected. That is how return needs liberty hour. Just as Sunday needs home fellowship meetings. You can't pick and choose. If the human beings are important to you, the meetings they need. Listen, if, if we say that this man is the home fellowship leader for Mamobi, and you don't go, it is it is more than a year, a year, nimtia, a year like it's, it's, I, you see, it's not just you not going. That's what I want you to understand. It is a domine one You are not pastor's level. I go for pastor's teaching service. I go for Sunday service where pastor is preaching. But you, what can you teach me? What do you have? How have you been going for home fellowship meetings? <laughs> Young man, talk to me. Say yes or no. Don't explain. Have you been going? Hey, Chan. <laughs> Will you repent or we should repent you? down. <laughs> second, second Timothy chapter 3 verse 7. That the man of God will be perfect. Thoroughly equipped. Listen, you can be equipped. But you can be thoroughly equipped. Which one do you want? Uh, Safu, the last two seconds would have interested you. <laughs> Something just happened here. Hey. Let me do it again. Stand there. <laughs> do you go for home fellowship meetings? Will you, should you, will you repent or we should repent you? <laughs> Sit down. Where are you? Slow motion. Rewind. <laughs> Tomorrow, su Sunday, I will, I will ask you again. Amen. Now listen. All these meetings, listen, they don't and they'll never conflict with your work schedule. We respect your work that you do. That's why we fix it in the evenings when you have close work. Because body and soul must be put together before man can, the spirit can dwell in. So these meetings, when you don't come and you persistently, continually use, because you see, this is Sunday. Home fellowship. Listen, everything, we respect your work. We believe in industry. We believe in work. And so these meetings will never as much as possible not conflict with, and that's why you have them on Saturdays and things. So you have no excuse not to come. Beloved, just ask in your way. Now listen, if you're a member of this church, all these 14 meetings, you have to lock them. You have to block and lock them. Say, block and lock them. Block and, lock them. and everybody in your life must know that these days and these times, they are sacred, they are holy, they are set apart unto the Lord and to for my spirit. Listen, you are not a body, you are not a body with a spirit. You are a spirit dwelling in a body. So activities that is about you, which is about your spirit, should be the one that takes preeminence and prioritize in your life. Just like, listen, like me, Mimiti Wei, Kwesiada, Don't worry, come and look for me on Sundays. Where? For the where? But for us, for you, 
somebody can call you on this. Now when they come, come, you have to block me. You have to determine that sun, Sundays are not part to 12. Block is for God. Tuesday evening, block. This, this evening, block. Listen, when you put all of this together, it's not even be up to one day. It's not even be up to uh, 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 10 hours a week for God. And he gives you how many hours a week? You have to be spiritual. You are a spirit living in a body. Monday, if your bosses who give you material things, they have blocked your Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's, is God not entitled to more? Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 11. They quoted this verse yesterday, uh, last week for me. Let me, let me apply it. Let me turn it upside down and let me ask you a question as I bring my sermon to a close. Is it 2 Corinthians or 1 Corinthians? It's 2 Corinthians. It's 2 Corinthians. While you are enriched in every way for all liberty, which, which season is this kind of Next verse. Hey, no, this is not the verse I'm looking for. It should be a first Corinthians and answer me. Eh? Find it for me. A uh, first Corinthians. Is it first or second? It's first Corinthians. Aha. Uh-huh. You see, if we have sown spiritual things to you, is it a great thing if you read your material? This is for pastors. Paul Kasama Asofo. Thank you for last week. God bless you. I felt honored. Amen. But are you are you so Paul say a man for a man for you are so spiritual I will say demo cana but you have known to young covers to over na me if others partake of this right over you are we not even more now listen yami ne yami si me me kasante I open a me pe if others if your bosses for 10,000, for 1,000, for 3,000, for 2,500, sometimes for 800 Ghana cities. Sikana and so the Bajuman Untimin die. Ghana we day. Or see, they are partakers of your eight hours a day. Nyamis Mbusa say, can't he or can't you also have times that? He has blocked in your life for the church. Satan will do everything to steal that time. They like, like, they let everybody feel that you are going to tell too much. You have to let everybody in your life, your children, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your beloved, your enemies, and they start with you. You must let yourself know that Wednesday evenings for home fellowship. I do nothing. Go and ask Muslims. Listen, nature, naturally, eh, prospers and rewards consistency and faithfulness. I'm telling you. Conviction. Listen, you see, anyway. <laughs> oh boss, also eight to nine, eight to five. But what talk one hour before because we'll do her eight. Into our life, I want to turn eight seven. To open five, uh, over some baby do feel have your life back home around six. Anamibua. So it's seven to six. Anamibua. Monday to Friday. And God says that He wants Sunday and up at four hours. Wednesday, you may one hour. Tuesday, you may one and a half hours. Friday, you may one hour. If others partake of of this right over you. Are we not? Is God not even more? Shouldn't, he, shouldn't it have been the other way around? God rather taking the seven to eat and the rest of every other thing taking less. You have to have principles. And if you're a member of this church, these are meeting days for us. And all of them are equally important. And you must be seen prioritizing them above every other thing. 
Church should be the reason we miss every other meeting, not the other way around. Should I repeat myself? As a church, should be the reason we miss every other meeting and not the other way around. May God grant us understanding and may we understand the essence and the importance of these meetings so that we will allow ourselves that through his Holy Ghost and the grace he has given to all of us, especially people with special giftings, who man and lead special services to equip and to train and to prepare us for our walk with the Lord. I pray that you will never miss anything precious and dear that God has for you. That he channeled through. Listen, listen. I'll release the word of prophecy, uh, the utterance again. But listen, very early you must come to a place where you understand, and I'm telling you, that everything that God, God's plan for you is tied to the local church. You have to understand that. God's plan and purposes and pursuit for your life is tied to the local church. Why Almost everything God is going to do with you, for you, and through you will be mainly through the local church. The earlier you prioritize our gatherings and place value on them, the better the part, the other part of your life will be straightened and orderly. It will be, will be, will be orderly. I pray that you will not miss any beautiful thing, any miracle, any word of knowledge, any direction. I pray that everywhere God will plant anything good for you, regardless of the meeting, regardless of the location, regardless of the functionaries, you will be spiritual enough. You will be punctual enough. You will be ready and accessible enough. You will place enough value on them to receive and to draw of them. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Were well, you blessed? Are well, you blessed? Yes. Every meeting is important. Every meeting is important. Because everybody is important. Eh? Everybody is important. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Please sit down. It's people that call the meetings. That's an anime boy. It's people that lead the meetings. All right. Take out a good offering. Take out a good, 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 good offering. We cannot gather and sing all the time. Mr. Livingston. Every service be a return. Service be a Can we do that? Will it be nice? Because we all, how many of you like Pastor Yvonne singing? How many of you like it when she's singing? Everybody likes it. So, so, Father, when we come, she should sing. Ah. When we come Sunday, she should sing. Ah. When we come like home fellowship, home fellowship, she should be singing every day. Mwah, no, but God say, eh, pastor, I'm fine here. I'm I'm fine here. And I am one man chant. And I, 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 and because a prayer meeting bread. Amen. Amen. Balance. Balance church. Balance believers. There are a lot of believers in pedaration in life now. The prophet do on come to the bia they are prophesying the bia o me ne bia the bia o me ne bia embrace na home fellowship na pool na prophetic the word and home fellowship every day that worship every day program every day as soon as one cuz your cuz as soon as as soon as i say i'm telling you the church must be balanced i can i'm tell me i can preach to you every day in the week from from january to sun i'm telling you, january like if you leave me when me kasa ya pon kwa me guzu kasa word no be bre ho no mum me do friday and no my to say me nim hwe na 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 ba na say re bo 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 because me hear pai bonus ma more word number 
what you say. They are men who are being mame. And men preaching quite deep. They are men who are being mame. You won't be seen. Now you can't deny me a thing. Now you can't 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 hear you. Amen. Amen. We look out for. Every, I like the smile on your face, madam. We look out for every meeting. We look choose and select meetings. God bless you. Pass the basket. Every offering is blessed. They get our hard, soft in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go. Save the Lord. Save the Lord. When I have opportunity. Thank you. Any day. Any day. Any day. Any day. Minister to him. This evening, go for his own flesh. We also minister to you. Because they don't trust their voice. They are singing in their head. Then they'll be like this. You have to make sure that the person sitting on your left doesn't hear your voice. Because you are not sure. But you won't can shout. to us. 